Do you see my screen? Screen yes. because of my face. Do you see right now? Yes, Dr. Soa. Okay, good. At the end of my lecture today, this is the one we are going to practice. When you choose your article, you have to be able to tell what level is this. Okay, if you choose expert opinion or some clinical guideline or randomized control trial or meta-analysis, or you may choose clinical guideline depending on your PICO question, okay? Therefore, you have to go to this page 278, 279 of your textbook appendix and you have to read your article you choose, okay? And you will have several questions in your quiz too. Therefore, we are going to learn about this today, okay? I have a three o'clock meeting. I think I can finish in less than one and a half hour, okay? Okay, let's start. Do you see my screen right now, right? Yes. Okay. Chapter six, we are talking about research, original research. Chapter seven, non-research. It means they read other people's previous study and use that for their practice, okay? But depending on your question, of your PICO question, you can cite non-research for your PICO, okay, or for your paper but we have to follow a totally different path. Research means original research. You should develop your own question, your own research question or hypothesis, and you have to find the sample and collect data and analyze and write. That's the original research, okay? Most quantitative study follow this path. Qualitative is a little different, okay? Or, of course, they have a sample, they talk to the patient, but we cannot say that's really objective scientific evidence, okay? We cannot say which is better, research is better than non-research. It all depends on your question. But if you want to change your practice based on, based on clinical evidence, it's really important. You have to find really strong design, okay? Validity means whether they are measuring what they have to measure. Consistency is the reliability, okay? We have to read really thoroughly and you have to grade the level of article you choose. Okay, but the most important thing you have to identify in your article is types of evidence. Research, non-research. Is this randomized control? Is this meta-analysis? Is this qualitative? Is this literature review? Or is it this systemic review? You have to do that, okay? I'm going to teach that today. Based on that, you have to say one, two, three, four. Level one, two, three, four, five. Quality is how good is the evidence? You have to read everything thoroughly and usually based on this John Hopkins model, as a group, as a team, you have to tell together critically, this is really high quality, or this is just good, or this is low. If it's low, we shouldn't include in our evidence paper. We cannot trust that article. But quality evidence is, in my opinion, it should be done at least master level, student level, or PhD level, doctorate level, at least somebody leading people should be, we have that kind of credential. Therefore, we'll be really generous. As long as you choose, you can identify level one, two, three, four, five, quality is a question mark. If you just put B, I'm fine. Okay, I'll talk about that, what, why I'm saying if you put just B is fine. I'll explain that later, okay? You have to read five articles, Thoroughly. Okay, why we do this kind of thing? Yeah, we have to know what is available right now. Based on that, you are adding some more knowledge, okay? The research why you are doing, because we want some knowledge to our nursing clinical practice. To improving practice is our goal. 
Therefore, you have to choose strong evidence if you want to use that to improve patient outcome or nurse outcome or unit outcome or health system outcome. And whenever you do any study, you need some background information. Therefore, you always start with some critical appraisal of the previous study. Okay, you have to talk about what's the strengths and limitation. If it's qualitative study, you have to talk about inside, meaning the article is given to you. Of course, you are not going to do anything if it's not significant for you or for your nursing or, or patient. You have to tell in your paper why you chose the topic because that topic was really significant to you for you to answer. Okay, therefore you are going to read thoroughly, okay? Therefore we are going to talk about this a little more but several weeks later. And if it's scientific study, the difference between regular literature review or systematic review is whether you go through really objectively and you have to talk about strengths of weakness of the study. That's the big difference. Okay, well, I told, I emphasized already, you have to tell me why you choose the topic. If it's not important for you, if you don't have any burning desire to answer the question, you shouldn't choose it. You should tell me the rationale, okay? And although you do only five article review, you have to add something to, for the future. You want this happen, therefore I did this small study. You have to tell me even, is your literature review type of PICO question study. And if it's really master level, doctoral level, you have to tell some other institution or some other people can replicate my study. You have to tell them. And you have to emphasize this is really in useful, helpful for the improvement of practice. Okay. Therefore, you have, when you may choose one single research article, or you may choose systematic review or meta-analysis, multiple study, review of multiple study. Okay, if you single original research article, experimental, you should have some control. You have a control group and intervention group. You should have, you should place participant randomly and the in the independent variable usually is a uh, intervention, it should be manipulated. If so, that's experimental. If one of three are missing, it's quasi -exper experimental. Experimental study, that's level one study. Quasi experimental, one of the three controls are missing, that means level two. We are going to talk about level one. You don't have to memorize anything. You are going to have open book test, okay? And page 278, 70, 279 is going to to give you all the information, you just open it and you are going to grade. In your quiz two, you will have article E, F, G, H, title page, the abstract introduction page you will. You should print that one. Then you have to grade the paper, okay? You have to tell me with level one or level two or level three, you have to tell me, okay? At this non-experimental, if so, it will be level three. Qualitative, I think it's level three. And if you decide some other expert opinion, it may be level five. If you use just regular literature review that was not critically appraised, it, I think level four. Like that you have to do that in your evidence-based table, okay? Okay, instead of one single research, you can, find systematic review or meta-analysis. Therefore, when you choose, some people chose two articles already, if you didn't finish yet, when you choose, let's say you have a heart failure, that's your topic, your outcome was 30-day readmission, and you can put meta-analysis as a search term, if so you will get meta-analysis about heart failure, okay? That's the one of the strategies you can find meta-analysis on your topic. And you can put systematic review on your search term. If so, you will get at least one systematic review. Systematic review is great because they critically appraise the art, multiple article already and summarize 
not only one people, expert people, someone who has a really expert in statistic analysis, they understand how to do research methodology. They did already appraise that for you. Therefore, that if you choose that, that's the level one evidence. Therefore, you have to know what kind of design was used. I'll give you lots of example. Okay, we cannot do actual original research if you want to do it. You need expertise, you need time and money, okay? You need some financial support. Some organization sh should give some report. Therefore, it's hard to do really large sample study. Therefore, if some people are doing research, they usually keep the data. You may have two, two research questions for your study, but you can keep it. And other institutions may do similar study. If so, they always gather that kind of get data sharing. They share the data. Therefore, if you don't, although you don't do original study, you can use the previous study and using that one, and you can develop another research question that was not asked from the previous study. It is called secondary analysis. You can get PhD using secondary analysis. Your um, doctorate, your preceptor will have a lot of available data already. If so, you don't have to collect data. You can analyze and get a PhD. By the way, if you want to become a PhD in nursing still, most big college is offering free for PhD because we need more nursing faculty. Most big school has free, okay? You can get free education in PhD. If you go big university hospital, let's say you go, you have decided to go University of Alabama, your education, master's level education will be free, okay? They may pay. Um, Emma Ford got kicked out of the lecture and she needs to be let back in. Okay, my husband is here. I think, let me see. He's still here. Okay, let me admit. I think he admitted, okay? He's helping me right now. Thank you. Okay, again, systematic review, not one single study. But based systematic re review, but still you have to, when you read it, whether the systematic review has randomized control study. If so, that is level one. If the systematic study has uh, quasi-experimental, it's not level one because it doesn't have all uh, randomized control trial. It may be level two, okay? I think, yeah, if you go back to the uh, your appendix, page 278, 279, it will tell you, okay? This Cochrane collaboration is volunteer-based, uh, non-profit internal organ uh, organization. They are doing expert people are used for volunteering their time to make good systematic review. I think most maybe a retired statistician or some, some researcher is volunteering. That's another organization they can make, produce systematic review. Okay. Therefore, they already critically appraise research evidence already. If they choose experimental, randomized control, that's the level one level. If one of the three aspects of the experimental study is missing, it is called quasi-experimental study, okay? I'm repeating again, again, okay? They usually write down how to appraise. They follow exactly what they are supposed to do. Expert people are appraising, okay? Because group of experts are following the appraisal protocol, therefore the bias can be minimized. Okay, I think you will see several questions about meta-analysis in your quiz too, because that's the best evidence we can choose, okay? But meta-analysis, if they choose randomized control, that's level one. If it's not randomized control, they have some um, quasi or non-experimental, the level will go down, okay? If you go back to and conjure with the appendix. Okay, experimental study, randomized control. It is categorized level one. Therefore, if you, if you find experimental study, randomized control, that's level one. And if you find meta-analysis that contains this, this is also level one. 
But if the meta-analysis has quasi-experimental, it is level two. Okay, you have to differentiate. Literature review is different from systematic review. I have an example already. I posted, okay, we'll review this together, okay? Literature review, they did not critically appraise. They didn't talk about limitation or strengths. They just re review and summarize. That's really helpful if you want to use from some of the practice, but still the level is low, okay? Systematic review, meta-analysis, with randomized control, that's level one. But just, I think literature review is level five, is level five. You have to differentiate these two, okay? Okay, meta-analysis. Your book talk about in detail, and they talk about effect size. Effect side, to do meta-analysis, you, you just don't need PhD. You need post-doctorate PhD. After you finish PhD, you need, I think, statistic, um, I think PhD in statistics. And only few schools offer to teach meta-analysis. I heard University of uh, Minnesota or several schools offer meta-analysis. If you really want to do, after you got PhD, and you have to go to that specific school to get meta-analysis. This is really top of the strong any research evidence, okay? It's really hard to do really good randomized control. Let's say you have, you did, your sample is only 10, okay? You did really scientific control study and another person did similar one, okay? Let's say you find really five, good randomized control trial, okay? And you want to answer one specific question. If so, you can combine that result, okay? You have a first from study one, study two. You can combine and average the in effect of the intervention, okay? We call that effect size. Of course, the bigger the number, the, if it's close to 1.0, the strong relationship between your intervention and your outcome you want to see, okay? It is called effect size. And I show you using actual article I posted. Okay, meta synthesis. This is not from quantitative, it's from qualitative, okay? It's a text based, okay? You know about qualitative, okay? Therefore, you can do meta synthesis from qualitative, several qualitative study, okay? You can get more insight, more, uh, you may be more helpful for you to develop some theory on understanding some certain phenomenon, okay? But this is not level one. I think meta analysis, meta synthesis is, I think it's level three. You don't have to memorize, okay? It's in your appendix, okay? Again, I'm emphasizing again, if they put participant into group by randomization and control group and manipulation of independent variable, if all three of them are met, that is called randomized control. If one of them is missing, that's quasi-experimental. And sometimes you can give mm, intervention and you can collect data. If so, you may have only post-test only. But if you can uh, test your participant before you give some intervention, then collect data again. If so, you can have pre and post-test control group and you can compare whether your intervention caused any difference before and after. Okay, quasi-experimental one of the three control are missing. Usually, at least it has independent variable manipulation. It means they gave some intervention. Okay, non-experimental. It just happened in naturally in natural setting, okay? No randomization, no control of group, and no manipulation of independent variable, no independent any uh, 
intervention, but still you are looking at what's happening. You can just follow the group and collect data, or you can go back and collect data, or you can follow after one month, two months, three months, six months, or one year later, you can collect data longitudinally too. You don't have to know in detail. Your book has really good explanation. I highlight important one using yellow highlight, okay? Okay, descriptive. The, the purpose of descriptive design is not interesting whether intervention codes the any outcome in your patient or in nurse or any unit, okay? They just want to describe what's happening naturally, okay, that phenomenon, okay? Therefore, right now, what's happening in COVID right now, we, we have a statistic every day, how many people are in the hospital, how many people die, that kind of thing, okay? We are not controlling, we are just collecting that data, okay, that may be example. Therefore, you don't see any relationship between variables. You are just observing and you are going to explain that using frequency, how many, or what's the mean data, that like that. Okay, I think this is important one. It is uh, in your, it's going to be in your uh, appendix. I think page 278, 279. Okay, if you choose meta-analysis, the test randomized control study. What's the level? Hello? Level one. Level one. Okay. If you did meta synthesis of qualitative study. Level three. Level, level three. three. Level three, right? Yeah. If you choose quasi experimental study. Level two. Yeah, you don't have to worry. Usually if you read, it will say quasi-experimental quasi study, okay? Usually first page, abstract or methodology section, okay? Okay, we are switching to chapter seven, okay? This lecture will be a simple, okay, short one, but I go through with you. We're using actual article, okay? Non-research. You may use some non-research. I'm an FMP student. Whenever I have encounter with patient, I have to be some clinical, clinical guideline, okay? If so, then I'm not doing any original research. I go up today and put my topic, okay? And read it. And I can use for my practice. That's the non-research, okay? Still. Chapter seven wants to give you the overview of non-research and lots of example. This is still example. I, I'm not telling you non-research is lower because they usually are, will be graded as level four or level five. This is important too, okay? You can use non-research and you can have better understanding of your improvement of your practice, okay? Clinical practice guideline. I show one heart failure guideline. Okay, expert organization, expert people, not only doctor, not only F, not only NP. They may have pharmacists. They have experts who are, who is good and statistic. Everybody's expert group sit together, and every few years they renew their clinical practice guideline. Okay. Okay. I'm, sure, I'm going to show one position statement, actual article, okay? If you, I use this, what's the level? Level four? Yeah, it's level four, okay? This is, I just got from, exactly from your uh, textbook. If you want a praise, uh, other research and if you want to evaluate, okay? You have to talk, if you have to follow this. Who is the one who, who are going to use this research, non-research, okay? And you have to tell what, what's purpose of you are doing, okay? Still, although you are doing, using the non-research, you have a rigorous protocol to use that uh, evidence, okay? And you have to present clearly, okay? 
I think your book talk about national guideline clearing house, okay? Agency for healthcare research and quality, okay? I think they are producing really good um, guideline free to the public, okay? Therefore, anybody, you don't have, up to date, I'm paying several hundred dollars per year, but it's, it's available and it is available in English and it is open to public, therefore you can read it, okay, if you need it. Any clinician who needs some good uh, guideline, I think we have this in our <clears throat> Piedmont College online research, if you want to choose this kind of non-research. Okay, please uh, be careful. Usually when you open the article first page, it will say review article. It will say literature review, okay? Literature review is not clinic, cl critically appraised. That's therefore it is level five. But still you can use it when you use for your practice change at the unit level. Simple one, I think we can use it. But lab still evidence is five from one to five. Integrate review. I show you one example. It will say at the title at the top, it said integrated review. It's a summary. Still you can use it. Okay, but still level is low. Okay. Many big hospitals, they have quality improve, improvement department and they have a meeting and they usually run the report. They are preparing for the accreditation, okay? Therefore, the name may be different. It could be quality, quality management, performance improvement, total quality management, continuous quality improvement. But still, if you, pro, some, the, the kind of people de develop and produce their report every few months, every year like that. But still, if you quote from there, it's level five. Some financial evaluation could be done for organization. That's still level five if you cite that evidence. Okay, Dr. Fauci, I like him. I think he is really, he can say whatever he wants to talk about he, using his expertise in front of President, Mr. President. But he's, he's the head guy in infection control about COVID-19. But if I cite his opinion, still is level five, okay? Okay, if you use some case report, case uh, community standard, standard or clinician experience, you can see if you want to read a little bit more. This is all level five evidence. Okay, you can reflect what you want from there, from that uh, expertise opinion, okay? And the expert has some authority about their opinion, but still you should have your own autonomy, whether you can use it or not, okay? And sometime, um, some people want to get some recognition from others. There may be the reason they are doing. Okay, level consumer experience on patient experience, that is level five experience, okay? Many leaders can write some recommendation, okay? That's level five. Okay, I think this is the last um, slide I made it this morning, okay? I'm really afraid to ask you to put high, good, or low, okay? I told you they need a team, at least someone who has master's or doctorate degree should lead the team to critically appraise high, good, and low quality. Therefore, you are not going to use low quality C because we cannot use this for practice change because the quality is too low. At least you should choose B. High quality, it has really comprehensive, consistent, sufficient, definite. It means everything. If so, that's high. But if it's fairly comprehensive literature review was done, 
they talk about con reasonably consistent result. Same size is sufficient, at least 30 for quantitative study. Some control was done. Their conclusion was fairly definite. You, you can give good quality. If you go appendix, every research article you should open it and you have to answer yes and no, yes and no, yes and no. Then you have to put A, B, C, okay? But you don't. I think Dr. Hop and I, we are not comfortable for, for us to ask you put high, good, and quality and low, okay? Therefore, if you just put some B, I think I'm fine, okay? But try to find really good one. But you have to read the article thoroughly. Okay, this tool, I think we talked about this already, okay? I made this from your appendix, okay? If you go through this, you can find anything you want. Therefore, you have to, if you find non-research article, go there, okay? If you find some quantitative, you have to find the page for you to appraise your article. Okay, you have to submit this. I think today, this October 7th. And you have to give definite fee PICO and you have to fill out this. And actually how to fill out your appendix has really how to do this is in your appendix. This, um, this one, I just made it here. You will see evidence level. You have to put one level one, level two, level three. Quality, you have to say A, B, C. Therefore, you have to put two A, 3B like that, you have to put it there. But all, of course, you have to fill out everything. This is what, what we are asking. After you finish this, and you are, you are going to start writing. OK, I, we are going to review some actual example together. It may be a little more clear, OK? Yeah, you have to have this before you take take quiz. You are going to have quiz in two weeks. Okay, the quiz will no, the quiz will open next Wednesday nine o'clock. Okay, do you see this one? We can see it, Doctor So. Okay, I put an article F like that. Okay, this is title page. Okay, if you just read the article, okay, I'll let one student read the title. Serena Frisbee, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Can you read the title of this article? Advanced Heart Failure, a position statement of the Heart Failure Association of the European Society of Cardiology. Okay, by just looking at this title, and it talk about, it start about the introduction, okay? They talk about advanced heart failure, and they talk about 2016 guidelines. Hey, they are revising, okay? Is this their position statement why they revise their guideline, okay? If it's position statement, what's the level? Can you tell me? Sirena? You don't have to memorize, you can just open page 278 or 278. If it's position statement of this organization, European Society of Cardiology, okay? What's the level? Five. Position statement? Do you have textbook? I think it's level four. Everybody open 278 or 279. Dr. Soa, it's also on page 146, it's level four. Yeah, page 147, 47. And the, if you want to take exam, you have to open 278, 279. It has level one, two, three, four, five. Everything is there. Therefore, when you see this, you can stay, tell, you can choose this is level four, okay? 
Can I close this one? Dr. Soa, can you explain why, why it's a level four? I'm looking at the page, but I'm not clear. Is it because it's their opinion? No, this is position state of this association. They, of the, they revised their clinical guideline of heart failure. And they are talking about why they revised it, okay? And if oh, you oh, see it, page 279, and level, it says, level the position consensus panel or position statements from organization is level four. I see that now. Okay. And it is in our, my lecture slide too, right? Yes, ma'am. Thank okay. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Therefore, some people need this. If you want, they want to answer, then you get this is better. Okay. Audra, Audra Viet, is there, are you there? Yes, oh, ma'am. Okay. You see the uh, abstract E, right? Title page, right? Yes. Read the title. Nutritional Interventions in Heart Failure, a Systemic Review of the Literature. And let's go down a little bit. Let's look at the method and result, okay? And if you read the second line, after senile permit, the second line, is that, can you read the method and result? Senile permit, can you read it? The second, where it starts with a total of 17? No, yes, a total of 17. Can you read that, Eddie? Yeah. A total of 17 randomized controlled trials were included in this review. Okay, tell me, this is systematic review. And they use randomized control, 17 of them, right? Yes. If so, is this level what? Would it be considered the... Um, Systematic review, the test. Oh, level only one. Only randomized control. Level one. Perfect, okay. She did really good, okay. Let's see. Marcus. Are you there, Marcus? I'm here. <laughs> okay, read this article, G, title page. Okay, can you read the title? Yeah, uh, um, 2017. A, a 2017 ACC a H A H S A focus update of the 2013 ACCF H I'm sorry A H A guideline for the management of heart failure. Yeah, this is clinical guideline for heart failure management. Okay, this many experts but yeah, participating in this project. Okay, if so, this is clinical guideline. Tell me. What's the level if you use this for your people? Is it level four? Clinical guideline is level four. Perfect, okay. Woo, I got it right. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna calm down, sorry. Okay, good job, okay. Aurora, Dumores campus, okay, are you there? Yes, Dr. So I'm here. Okay, just looking at this, okay, this is the uh, debatable word. Just by looking at this uh, title, tell me, okay? Read the title. Self-efficacy and educational interventions in heart failure, a review of the literature. Yeah, you said a level of literature, okay? But if you read more thoroughly, it may be a little confused. They said they assist, they did systematically review, okay? but. If they don't talk about, if they don't grade the level and grade the quality, I think I cannot say this is systematic review. Just to, uh, use this as a level of liter literature, okay? If we just live of lit literature, what's the level? Tell me, Aurora. Level five. Level five, perfect, okay? Okay, let's see. 
GH. Good. Okay. Hope, are you there, Hope? Yes, I'm here. Okay, read the title. It's, art, it's Article I. Of literature review on nursing interventions aimed at increasing self care among heart failure patients. You said integrative literature review, right? So it's broad summary, right? It's yes. Integrative literature reviews. This is not systematic review, okay? Therefore, what's the level? Um, Page 279. The same as literature review, okay? Okay. What's the answer? So level five. Level five, perfect, okay. Okay, let's see. Let me find. The... Kim in Athen. Kim, are you there? Yes, ma'am, I'm here. Okay. It said original article. It means it is original research article, okay? Yes, ma'am. And please read the uh, title of the article. Exercise training in patients with heart failure and preserved ejection fraction, a meta-analysis of randomized clinical trials. Okay. What's the level? It's level one. Level one, okay. I think you have three questions in your quiz too about meta-analysis, okay? That's the highest level we can get it, okay? To improve your practice. If you quote from meta-analysis of randomized controlled trial, this is level one, okay? And we are going to examine, I think I didn't post this, I, okay, but let's see. Your book talk about effect size. It's hard, but I'm gonna tell you just, it is size of intervention, you won't see. They did some exercise training and they want to see what kind of, they have a three question actually. Kim, you are going to read a little more here. I tell okay. you what you have to read. Okay, so if you see methods and methods and results, the third line, effect of exercise, can you read it from there? Yes, ma'am. Effective exercise training on quality of life estimated using the Minnesota Living with Heart Failure Score mm -hmm. and left ventricular systolic and diastolic function was also assessed. Okay, I think before then we missed the first primary outcome. Can you read about one? Primary outcome of the study was change in CRF measured as change in peak oxygen uptake. Okay, they want to see after they did some exercise training, whether the oxygen peak level is increased, they saw that, right? Okay, let's look at and see. And when you see this, they follow this diagram to choose the best article, okay? They usually do this. And is what, what uh, article was included. And if you see this kind of thing, okay? The first one is a change in peak oxygen uptake, right? You see some kind of plot here. Do you see the plot? Yes, ma'am. You have a zero, two, four. This diamond is the overall effect of the intervention. It looks like it said overall uh, in, uh, effect is 2.72 compared to the someone who didn't go through training, someone who goes through this exercise training, their peak level oxygen uptake was uh, on average, it increased 2.7.2. Yeah, this is the graphical representation of the uh, meta-analysis. They show to you this is this much really important. Okay, they want to see the uh, relationship between exercise training and the oxygen uptake level. This everything was they have a other study. Okay, several study. Everything was positive side, right? Yeah, this is the in example of meta-analysis, okay? Therefore, if you see this kind of thing, you choose the best evidence, okay? Okay, let me show you one more time what we are, we are asking from you. 20% of your grade, okay?
This is the grading rubric. If you choose five articles, less than 10 years, and if you choose categorize correctly, one, two, three, four, five correctly, and if you, you have to fill out the, the table, okay? And you have to tell at least there are limitation strengths area, you have to put something there. And the strengths and evidence, you have to tell level one, two, three, four, five, and quality ABC. But I'm telling you again, ABC to put ABC may be challenging, okay, for the BSN student. Therefore, just do as much as you can, okay? Therefore, let me show me evidence table one more time. It is posted like this, okay? I don't know what's that. Okay, therefore, if you fill out this article one, also just first author, you cannot put every author, and where's the date of the year? And well, tell me, either research, non-research, whether it's a clinical guideline or literature review or systematic review, we have to tell, okay? If you research, if it's, uh, Quantitative, tell me what's the sample size, 30 or 100 like that, okay? Therefore, you, if you are going to fill out some of them, okay, several, uh, using several sentence paragraph, and what is the, they are going to try to measure, that what kind of outcome they are looking at. And you are should tell us at least what was the strength of the article limitation. And you have to tell us level one, two, three, four, five, and quality A, B, C. I think you have to put B, just put B. I think I'll pass you. <laughs> That's all I can tell, okay? If it's published in that kind of AHA organization, that's high level. I, that's my opinion. Even it's hard for me to rate, uh, appraise their quality. I, I can say that's good quality A, okay? I think most of them, if it's really poor quality, it's not going to be published, okay? Therefore, is it clear? Can you fill out evidence table? Can you pick up at least five articles? And next week, we didn't put anything in Canvas. You are going to make an appointment with us next week, starting tomorrow or today. I have a meeting until 4 o'clock. Everybody should meet with your coordinator if you don't have PICO. If you are done and you, you don't need any help, you can submit two PIC, uh, one, your PICO question to article, article to Dr. Hop and me, okay, to your corresponding, your course coordinator. But if, if you have no idea how to start PICO, you have to meet with us, okay, until next week, okay, next week. Then you have a quiz next week. I think we are almost done. This semester was very challenging for us because we thought, somebody just came in, okay? This rating is too much for BSN student, okay? But I think you, you can do well. When I see the result of the quiz one, I was very impressed, okay? You will do well, okay? You have to print uh, the title page of article EFGH. What do you have to print? E, e, F, G, H, okay? If you do that, you will be okay for the quiz two. If you do qu quiz two, okay, you'll be okay to fill out this, okay? Let me, everybody is going to do together with me the practice question. Okay, you, you can open your textbook 278 and 279, okay, and answer this together, okay? Okay, I'll call the person's name randomly. Sydney, are you there? Sydney Brandon? Sydney Brandon, are you there? I think he's not there, okay. Carter Miller. Do you see my question? Uh, yes. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Adam Miller is not there either. Samantha Hurst. Professor Sola Carter is here. He just can't talk. He has to type. 
Okay, how about Samantha Hurst? Yes, I'm here. Okay, and the first one, expert opinion. What's the level? Um, if you open 278, 279, all the page in my lecture slide, Expert op opinion. This is not research. This is non research. Dr. Fauci's opinion about COVID 19. It's level what? So it would, would it be level five? Correct. Okay, you did good. Okay, level five. Expert opinion is level five. Okay. Emily Pascavizi. Are you there? Yes. What's the position statement? Um, we review one article already, right? Position statement about heart failure. Um, Did you buy textbook? Yeah, okay. I'm looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Page 279. I just don't know where to see that. Like, I don't know where to look. Page 279 is label. It's page 279. Do you have textbook in front of you? Yes, I'm looking at it. Okay. Either level four or level five, right? Sure. Yeah. Look at the level four. On the clinical practice guideline, it has what? Consents of panel or position, oh, position statement. statement. Okay. okay. Therefore, what's the answer? Level four. Okay. Taylor Miller, are you there? Yes, ma'am. What's the literature review? Level four or level five? Level five. Good job. Brianna Cromley. Are you there? Level five. What is level five? Integrative review. Yeah, integrate review is level five. Perfect. Okay, good job. Tiberius Jones. RCT, randomized control trial. Let me say randomized control. Okay, what's the randomized control? What's the level? I'm here. Yeah, Tiberius, randomized control. Um, it's three. It's level. Is it three? What, what? Level one. Oh, one, I'm sorry, yeah, one. Yeah, control, three control is done, okay? It has control group, it has randomization, and in many manipulate independent variable, the intervention, okay? That's level one, okay? Meta-analysis. I should choose student, okay. Jasmine in the Morris. Jasmine, are you there? There's three Jasmines, Dr. Stella. Oh, three Jasmine, okay. Yeah, but I could answer that one if you would okay, like. Okay, you can answer, okay. It's for the meta-analysis. Mm -hmm. But I had to give you more information. Meta-analysis, which has only randomized control, right? Right. So? Level three. No, level one. Oh, this is here on level yeah, three. Yeah, meta-analysis is a top one, okay? It, oh, okay. I added it has only it use only randomized control. If so, it's le level one, right? Because metasynthesis is level three. Sorry. Yeah, synthesis is qualitative study, yeah. right? You have to differentiate analysis and synthesis. If it's meta meta synthesis, that's level three. Okay. Is it clear? Is it clear? Dr. Stella? Yes. Couldn't that be um, level one, two, or three, depending on? What it tests, right? What? But when I give her a uh, question, I said meta-analysis, which has only randomized control trial. Okay. 
If I Thank say you. that, say so, the answer is level one, okay? Perfect. Thank you. You are good. Good girl, okay? Or you answer the next one, systematic review. Um, with a combination of what? Yeah, I have to give you more clue, right? Yes. If I give you the test uh, metasynthesis, if so, level three, right? Therefore, I have to give you more information. Okay, good job. Okay. Amended car in action. Are you there? The student is missing. Amended. Is amended there? Looks like missing. Sapphora Holt, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Oh, yeah, what is clinical guideline? Clinical guideline is level four. Perfect, okay. Jennifer Daniel, are you there? I'm here. Yeah, experiment study. Experimental study means that meets everything, okay? Randomization, control, and manipulation. Everything is met, okay? What's the level? Experimental study? Can you tell me, Jennifer? The level one. Level one, okay, good. Emma Ford, are you there? Did I call you already? I'm here. Okay, non-experimental study. Uh, is that level three? Good job, okay. If you know page 278, 279, you can answer. Okay, the last one, Adrian Klimkowski. Quashi experimental study. Are you there? She's missing today. Gary on Williams, are you there? I'm here, but I'm oh. kind of driving, so. Oh, oh, it's okay. I, you, yeah, you don't have to answer. You yeah, are listening by, by, while you are driving? No, I'm not looking at I'm just listening to you, and I wouldn't be able to answer the question. Okay. I'm driving through Atlanta right yeah, now. Yeah, I'll post it later. Okay, Carly Webb, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, what is quasi ex experimental study? What's the level? Level two. Level two, okay. Therefore, when you have a question, put this, okay? When you choose article, if you want clinical guideline to, for your uh, pick a question, put clinical guideline. If you want experimental study, put experiment study on your search term you are going getting the best evidence, you should put meta-analysis and randomized control. If so, you'll get at least one or two articles from there. If so, you got the strong evidence for your PICO question, okay? Therefore, the title page, title, abstract is most important. Most of the abstract title page will tell you what method they use, what kind of design they use, okay? Therefore, I think you will be okay. I'm mm, telling you again, next Wednesday, nine o'clock, quiz to open, 20 question, okay? Pick a question, about five question. The, this, today, what we talk about, about 15 question. If, if we practice, if you know how to do this, and if you just read this uh, lecture slide one more time, you will be fine. And you have to find five article and read thoroughly and put level one, two, three, four, five, quality ABC, the quality, giving quality is hard. But if you have problem, you can email me or email Dr. Hop if you have no have problem giving quality, okay? Giving quality will be hard. Most of case, just if you put B, just good quality, good quality or article are usually published, okay? Poor quality cannot be published. I think they're safe. But you can give us at least whether it's level one or level five, right? Dr. Hub and I agree 
to this morning. As long as you put level one, two, three, four, five, and put B there, you'll be fine. Do you have more questions? The quiz three will, uh, quiz two will close Friday, 9 p.m., okay? It has 20 questions, we'll give you 120 minutes, but it'll take less than 10 minutes. It is much easier than first quiz, okay? Um, Dr. So, this is Marcus. Um, so yes. just for clarification, um, so you will post um, articles E, F, G, H, or they're already like in the module for this week, is that correct? This, this week, I put the title page of E, F, G, H. And okay. I didn't put actual article. I can put actual article if you want to see method. Oh, no, no, no. I, I just wanted to clarify that. And then, and then also the questions will be kind of what we did, like, you know, the whole class, like the expert opinion. I'll, we'll just have to read the title and select whatever one it is. Is that correct? And you have to read my lecture slide again, right? Oh, of course. Of course. If so, you will have no problem, okay? It's okay. I told you. The average of quiz score, although it's seven, under 74, you are going past this class, right? But still, this is helpful for you to actually grade your article. That's the reason we are giving you quiz, okay? Everybody will make at least B or A. I think 90% I think of, of you can make A. Because writing, if you really organize and read thoroughly, and follow the rubric, you can write it and you can present, right? Presentation grade will be, you may have almost perfect score, right? Therefore, you don't have to worry about grade from this class. I want you to learn something. But still, this book is too much for BSN students. That's the reason we try to make this class really easy, okay? We changed a lot from last year. So that this is more friendly. You will be, become more comfortable to put one, two, three, four, five, okay? And you can just put B there, okay? If it's really from that association clinical guideline, I think that's quality A. The meta-analysis I show you today, that's quality A. I'll post that article in Canvas so that you can see what is good quality article, okay? Level A article. Is it clear? Can you choose level one, two, three, four, five at least, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, most yes. answers are at, on the first page, introduction page, title, and abstract. And if you go research methodology section, it will tell you, it will say it is, is, it is quasi-experimental. If it's experimental, it will say experimental. If it's clinical guideline, it will say as, as in the title, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Therefore, I think I'm done today. And if you, I can stay here until 2.30 because I have a 3 o'clock um, committee meeting. Yeah, my Demora student can stay if you have yes. some problem making Pico. And Dr. Hop is, is going to help you, okay? You can make an appointment with her today or until next week so that you can finalize your PICO if you don't have any no idea about your PICO, okay? And several people um, email to me whether they are going to send me the PICO. If you finalize, you are not going to change PICO sent to me with two articles, it's fine. But if you need more time, you are fine. But the submission of PICO and the table after you fill out everything is due October 7, okay? Dr. Sowa? Yes. So just just to make sure that I'm getting this correctly, so the evidence table is on page 278 and 279, but the highest level of evidence is level one, correct? Yes, level one means highest level, yeah. Okay, thank you. Level five, if you use clinical guideline, if you use the expert op opinion like that, right? But it depends on your topic. You don't have to always use research. You may use just non-research, right? If so, you, you may get only level four and level five, right? Therefore, it's still okay. Okay, okay. Yes. Ready, thank you. If you use original article, you have to differentiate whether it's, that's, your article is 
experimental or quasi or non-experimental, right? Yeah. Non-research, you cannot do that. Yeah. Um, Dr. So just one more point of clarification and then I'll, and then I'll be done. So yes. what we need to submit to you next week is we need to submit um, two articles in the PICO. We need it to like- do actually today, but you oh, may need more it. help from me. If so, you can make an appointment. Next week, we didn't post anything in Canvas. Next week, you have quiz too, okay? From last week, PICO and from today, the appraisal level, this kind of grading. You have a quiz next week. You have to find five articles next week. Then you have to start grading and put everything and make the evidence table. Okay, evidence table is not one page. You have to fill out the table. It may become several page, okay? Then you just, after you finish it, if you read everything thoroughly and if you make this table based on that you can write paper, okay? Most people make this kind of table. The summary of the article is in this table. You are going to put what kind of, uh, what, what you find from finding will be summarized in there, several paragraphs. Therefore, if you read really thoroughly, if you finish your evidence table, it, it will be several page. And based on several page of evidence table, you can write paper. Your paper is answering your PICO question, right? And you have to tell me why you choose the topic. Why it's so important for you? You have to address, you want to improve something, okay? nurse or patient or hospital for the unit. You are doing, want to improve something, right? And you have a running question about heart failure education. Therefore, somebody is, Mike is going to choose heart failure education. If so, you have to explain to me why you choose that topic. Then you have to organize and answer our rubric of the writing paper and you are going to present, that's all we are asking. But actually, we brought this paper from Capstone. Therefore, next semester, your Capstone will be really easy. You are going to make just poster and write, port make portfolio. That's all you have to do. Therefore, we are doing research and Capstone together this, this semester, okay? Dr. Soa? Okay. Yes. Are you saying that we have to submit to either yourself or Dr. Huff our PICO question and two articles today? It was or actually today, but we are so generous. Finalization was October 7. But if you look at our call schedule, it said, okay, I'll show you call calendar. Two article and PICO is due, but we are not penalizing, okay? Okay, let's see. Today's October. October 9. You see here, I please bring your PICO question and two relate articles. Do you see that? Yes, ma'am. So you want us to email that to you? Is that what you're saying? No, email to Dr. Hub if you are in Essen, okay? Right, but, but that's but what if we... you need more help, just emailing may not be enough. You you cannot the your PICO needs to be. Uh, a little help from Dr. Hub and me. You have to email this to your corresponding. Essence students submit this to Dr. Hub. The more students submit to me. If you didn't start at all, you have to make an appointment with me, the demore student. Therefore, we have to have an individual Zoom session to talk about PICO. Some people, some people has PICO and to relate article already. But some people don't have at all. If so, you have to make an appointment with your course coordinator. So that little sheet that you showed us that had like the author and the year and all that stuff, we just have to literally kind of put like our PICO question and then two of the articles with the information in that little box that has the five Today articles. I don't need, I don't need this evidence table. The evidence table is due October 7th. Today, you have to just make PICO question and relate to, if you find two articles, give us evidence. PICO table is really hard. You it may take, you have to read five articles thoroughly and you have to fill out. Let's see this here. 
I'm going to talk about writing literature review. And October 7, it said, final PICO and evidence tables are due. Today, you don't have to fill out evidence table. You just have a PICO. And if you have two articles, you can email to your course coordinator. If you don't have, it's still OK. We are not going to penalize you. But still, you have to start doing that, OK? Is everything clear? I don't need evidence table. Evidence table, it will take time for you to fill out because you have to read thoroughly and you have to fill out. Do you have more questions? Today, I don't need table. The table is due October 7. If you see page 290A, page 290A is the evidence table, OK? It looks like one page, but you have to fill out. It's not one page. It may become five page if you do really start, uh, a little uh, comprehensive summary of your finding, OK? Based on your finding, you are answering your PICO, right? Also, and they did this only one line. Evidence type research, non-research clinical guideline or literature, it is only one line. But if you go finding, you have to write some finding you find from the article that can help to answer evidence-based practice question. Therefore, although I made looks like one page table you have to fill out the finding area you have to fill out if i don't need a table you cannot give me table today the table is due october 7 then we are grading 20 percent of your group grade will be from that evidence table and pico together okay at the top of the evidence table you have pico and you have evidence table that's 20% of your grade. It's not until October 7. It means you have a four more weeks to finish, finalize your PICO. You have to do by next week. Then you have to find five articles. Reading five articles thoroughly, it will take time. Then you have to fill out the summary of what you read from that article. Therefore, it, it looks like one page, it may become five page if you write in detail about the finding you find from the article. That's really helpful. Literature review. For you to do literature review, you have to make this kind of table. You are not going back to the uh, article and copy and paste. If you read thoroughly, if you sum summarize the finding of the study, just reading article, the summary, in your evidence table, you can write paper. You should part up phrase. You are not going to copy the article. Is everything clear? At least, can you identify whether your article is level one, two, three, four, five? That's really important, OK? Can you do that? and make appointment with your coordinator if you don't have PICO yet. And if you find you don't need help anymore, if you have finalized PICO and two articles, give me evidence. You finish your PICO and you have two articles, so give me that PDF article so that I can look at it, okay? I don't need evidence table today. You have to submit that on October 7th. Yes, I will stay here if you have need help for the uh, PICO, the more student, okay? Athens student, you can leave today, right now. You did a good job, okay? You will do well next um, 
quiz two. Quiz two is much easier than quiz one. Quiz one, some of them were a little picky, but so many people got 100. Dr. Soa? Yes. Will y'all be providing feedback in the email after we send, you know, our PICO question? Yes, if it's PICO, I'll give you feedback. Okay, so, Maybe so not if we tonight, just... okay? But you, you send your PICO question to Dr. Hop if you are Ethan's student, okay? Okay. And you, if you're PICO, this kind of feedback, I think if you give me time, what time is good, the Zoom is much better giving for me to give you feedback using Zoom, okay? Let's make an appointment for me to give you feedback, okay? And if you have no idea about PICO, make an appointment with me too, okay? Dr. So, this is Marcus. So, when we email, I've, I've already got my two articles. So, you want me to like document which one is level one through level you five? Have when to I write your PICO. I'm sorry? You have to write your PICO. No, no, no. I, I have my PICO and my two articles. My question is, is do you want me to tell you what the articles at their level one or three? No, I don't need I told you. I don't need it. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. I'm going to email October it. October 7th. Thank you. I'll email it shortly. Thank you. Okay. Therefore, for me to give you really good feedback about your PICO, Zoom meeting is good. And if you don't have PICO, please make an appointment with Zoom, using Zoom, okay? I'm not available tomorrow, 11 o'clock, because I have to teach FEMA at 11.01, but I'm free this week. You can make an appointment uh, tomorrow afternoon or Friday afternoon or even Friday morning. I'm available for you, and next week too, but not Monday and Tuesday. Okay, please email me to make an appointment, okay? I think I'm going to uh, log out, okay? Well, you did good. You okay, good job. Okay. Bye. Hi, um, I, I sent you an email requesting a, a uh, requesting an appointment. Yes. I do have, I do have a, a PICO question now, but I'm not sure if I'm correct on it. So I don't okay, know. Okay, let me get out from I don't have to record this. Then we'll make an appointment. I'll invite you again. Are yeah, you Lisa, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm getting out right now. Okay. Okay, thank you.